Hey guys, SAPOR Sweet Customer Care Team here. And today we'll be talking about all things broken links, one of the most common vulnerabilities of a website. Broken links are the links present on your website that lead to either internal or external pages or resources that no longer exist, or just return no valid response for some other reason. Broken links devalue your SEO efforts as they harm user experience, making your visitors unexpectedly land on non-existent pages. They are also unwelcome by search engines. Firstly, they waste crawl budget as bots are stumbling upon broken URLs. And secondly, they break the link juice flow throughout your site and can make a site look less trustworthy as search engines basically see each external link as a vote you cast. Website Auditor detects and reports all kinds of broken links to you once a site is crawled. It gathers all the pages that return the 4xx or 5xx status codes and lists the source pages where these links were found on. For your convenience, there are several sections under Site Audit. Resources with 4xx status code section will list the URLs to all the resources found on your website, both internal and external, that return a client error. Next to each one, you can see the exact status code and content type of the resource, as well as whether it's internal or external. In the Found on Pages column, you can see the number of occurrences and click on the context menu to see the full list of pages that contain the link to that broken resource. You can even check which page element it is wrapped in. To fix the 404 errors, you need to go to the source pages and edit the link in case the URL is just incorrectly pasted, replace it in case it leads to a non-existent page, or remove it completely. In some other cases, you may get 403 forbidden status code or an unknown host error. Such errors might be received due to a server configuration issue. If you have been able to crawl most of a site successfully, but certain pages are forbidden or unavailable, it may be that the server has started to block requests coming from your IP address. To solve the problem and make sure the crawls do not overwhelm your server's bandwidth, you can navigate to Preferences, Miscellaneous Global Settings, and decrease the number of simultaneous tasks to one. Then you can rebuild the project and enable expert options, navigate to Speed section, and make sure to limit the number of requests sent to website to one per five seconds, for instance. That should do that. The next section, Resources with 5xx status code, List the resources that return the so-called server errors. Most of the time, it occurs because the server is too busy or because there's maintenance being performed on it. If that's your website, it's worth checking with your server administrator to diagnose and troubleshoot the cause. Yet, in most cases, the issue is only temporary and may be resolved by using the same settings that limit the crawler's speed. And finally, you can turn to the broken links section to find all the broken outgoing links found on your pages. You can see the source page that contains the link, the anchor text it's been found under, and the broken link itself, along with its specific status code. To fix the error, you should replace or remove the invalid URL from the code of the source page. And that's it! Happy fixing!